After Ever's birth, about a year and four months, that was when I spoke to a doctor for the first time who said, this isn't going to get any better and let's, let's bring you in and have an actual conversation about what might help you. Alanis and her husband had their daughter Onyx at home in June 2016. Compared to her 25 hour labor with Ever, when Alanis's water broke with Onyx, she had six contractions, pushed twice, and Onyx had arrived. And it was like, boom! <laughs> But I was so happy, you know, I wanted her so badly. But that birth was very different from what she experienced with Ever. This particular experience was wild because I thought it would take a few hours and it took literally 59 minutes. And she flew out. <laughs> the second she gave birth, she said her postpartum depression kicked right in. I had a pretty good sense that it was gonna happen again. And I was at the ready, you know, I was like, whether I'm addressing this hormonally or through vitamins or through omegas or through allopathic medicine or whatever. I just was ready to do anything. Alanis was able to use what she experienced with her first bout of postpartum depression to prepare her for what was to come with her next round. So there's a lot of sleeplessness. The more severe the postpartum depression, the harder it is to have that time alone. So I seek it and, and have it, you know, at three in the morning sometimes. So sleep is hard to come by and I push through the being debilitated but knowing that I need to provide and show up because I see my little kids' faces and I'm so empathic with them and so bonded with them that if they need me, they have me, you know, even if I have to sort of stay lying down and go, come, 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 you know, so they might, they might think, oh, mommy's just tired. I want to keep as much semblance of normalcy for my kids as I can, so I don't want it to be their burden. <laughs>